Well, lawmakers today continue to hash out the state budget as the government pays millions of dollars to house Lahaina fire survivors. Our Kristen Concilio reports on how state departments are preparing for possible cuts and what that will mean for critical services. State lawmakers are sounding the alarm as they grapple with how to balance the budget before having to cut government services. The Department of Hawaiian Homeland's $600 million uh, uh, housing fund is at risk. The schools are at risk. Uh, you know, hospitals, uh, all of state services are at risk if we run out of money. Officials still don't know the true cost of housing Lahaina survivors and rebuilding the community. But in the first year alone, lawmakers estimate spending will exceed $600 million, not the $200 million originally projected. There's still more than 4,000 people living in hotels until July 1st, the deadline Governor Josh Green has set to move them into cheaper long-term housing. And that's why getting people into a better spot where the cost is way lower is important. For now, state departments are preparing for the worst. Budget cuts of between 10 to 15 percent, which for the Department of Education would mean more than 200 to 300 million dollars, or about 3,000 teaching positions. Essentially, that means layoffs. You know, do we go back to furlough Fridays? I don't know. Those are really unpalatable scenarios that we have to take very seriously. Senator Angus McKelvey, who also lost his Lahaina home, says the problem is there's still no clear housing plan for Lahaina residents. County the feds and even the state agencies are going off in all different directions. So part of this price tag is actually on government itself. You know, I mean, and so I, I, I appreciate the concerns because you don't want to run away train because then everybody suffers. Governor Josh Green's office told Island News the state remains in a strong position to respond to the Maui wildfires disaster, fund all essential services and programs, and fund the state's priorities of housing and health care. Any discussion on furloughs and other cuts to services is wildly premature and just short of unnecessary panic. Kristen Concilio, Island News.